Alright, so now we've got the PSU in. You can see it leads off the PSU. This one is for the motherboard, and this one, well this one's actually for the motherboard too, um, but it's for the CPU. So this one, this big one, um, sometimes it splits into two, but you'll need to either split that or put it together depending on your motherboard. But there's a thing down here, a port down here. Where is it? There it is. And this is to be plugged into that. Like that. Okay, that's in, and it's in properly. The next thing is these two, or usually it's just one, for this, this goes where this, it goes near the CPU. For my motherboard, it happens to be there. So I'll plug that in too. Like that, so that's in as well now. So this is what the PC is looking like now. So the next thing we'll do is to wire up these wires. See these wires that come off the case? We'll wire these up next. So, we'll start with USB. You'll usually see, um, I think they're called jacks for these. Um, these are the USB ones. So, USB, they can only go in one way and that's that way. It's a bit stiff that actually. Well, that's pretty stiff. It's mm, right then. Alright, so I've got the one in there and uh, that's all I've got there. I've got one for audio, which is this one, and that's going to go in over here. F audio. Again, it only goes in one way. Okay, and that's in properly. What's this here? AC97. I'm not going to be bothering with that. I don't actually know what that is, but this is HD audio, so I'm not too bothered. Right, so that's in. Uh, SPDIF. Um, I'm not going to be using that. LPT and COM, I'm probably not going to be using that. FUSB 3. FUSB 3. This case doesn't have USB 3 on it. So we'll move on to, to these. To zoom in a little bit there. And basically it's just a case of matching these up. So this cable, I've got a cable here for lights. I'm just going to push that to one side because I'm not going to be using that. We've got reset switch. Reset switch. So reset switch is going to go. Uh, where's res? There it is. I can see res. And the. It's not clear what's what, but I, I'm I'm guessing red is positive. It usually is. So push that in there. Okay, res is in. Then the next one we have HDD LED. HDD LED, which isn't that important. Um, HD. So I'll assume white is negative, so that was going to go there. So that's in there. Um, what have I got next? Next, I've got power, sw power switch. So, power switch is going to go, right, power switch is the one above res, and black will be negative, so that's going to go there. I've also got another thing there, PL, P LED, power LED I suppose that is, um, and power LED I've got here, so there's the plus and there's the minus. So that's going to go in there like that. So just move these around. 
Okay, and the last one is the speaker, which goes in here. Right, so next it's probably time to put the RAM in. Um, I wouldn't usually put the RAM in like this. I'd usually test it and then put the RAM in. But anyway, um, for the sake of the video, I'll just, I'll just put the RAM in. So the same types go in the same coloured um, slots. Let's push those in there. And here. Okay, and I put these two in as well. Okay, so they're in now. So we've got the RAM in too. So next we're going to put in the hard drive, and this is my SSD, and this sort of goes in the side here, in one of these little side bays. So I'll just push this in here, and line up some holes, and just screw, this, screw these in both sides. I'm just going to put one screw in on each side. So that's one, and I'm going to do the other side as well. And also my second hard drive, that's also going to go in here, but just below it. So I'll put this in here. Just like that. Screw that in too. And that will do. So I've got the two hard drives in also now. Okay, and finally, you just need to put your graphics card in. And this goes into the PCIe slot, which is here. So I'll just gently lower that down until it's in place. There we go, that's snapped into place now. Okay, and that's in two. So the next thing we need to do is add power to the graphics card and the hard drives. So that's the next thing I'm going to do. So first of all, let's add the, um, the data. So SATA, I'm looking for SATA 0 and 1, or SATA 1 and 2. Where's that? SATA 0 and 1. So I'll just push these in here. There's a zero. And then that one's zero. There. Zero's in and one. Okay, there we go. So zero is going to my uh, SD SSD, which is there. You can see that it's starting to get a bit fiddly now. And the one is going to this hard drive here, my secondary hard drive. There we go, that's in now. So we've got the SATA in, we just need the power now. So we need two SATA power cables. Okay, in this particular PSU that I've got, everything's modular. So Peripheral and SATA is this one. There's one of them in. So the power is in correctly now. So now I need power for the um, for the graphics card. So there's one of the PCI plugs in. Well, here's the second. So all the power should be on correctly now. Eh? 
So now it's time to test this. Okay, so everything's wired up here, and everything's wired up here too. I've got the monitors plugged in, the Ethernet, the keyboard and mouse, um, power, the monitors are set up ready. I just need to plug this in, and we'll see what happens. I've just switched it on. And we have something. It's working. There's the Windows logo. I've actually skipped a step here because I've not shown you how to install the operating system. But I mean, that's not too difficult anyway. Um, I'm sure you'll work that out. But as far as the hardware is concerned, I've pretty much covered it. Let's just wait for the welcome screen to come up. And there we go. We just need to install the graphics drivers, it looks like. Um, so yeah, we may have to install some drivers, but it's actually working. Okay, and um, we've got one screen on here. And um, we've got one screen black, so that's looking good. Um, so, okay, and as you can see here, uh, it's a bit awkward with the power and everything, so I've got to keep it in a bit of a silly position. But I've got one monitor on and the other's black, so that's a very good indication that it's worked fully and correctly. It's still stunning. Okay, so I've turned it on and it works straight away. So there's Windows 10. You can't see it very well because of the position of this thing, of course, but it's working and uh, and that's it. So, um, so I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope it's useful. Um, it's been a bit of a rushed video, really, but um, anyway, thanks for watching. Bye.